Soapstone is a metamorphic rock with some rather unusual properties. And these properties may significantly influence some early civilizations. So starting with basics, soapstone is mainly made for talc or hydrated magnesium silicate. The talc is extremely soft and light, the basis for talcum powder. Along with the talc, there are often chloride minerals, micas, and a few other minor components. These are then subjected to large amounts of heat and pressure under the earth and metamorphose into the soapstone. Soapstone is significantly harder than talc, but still can be very easily shaped and worked with even the most basic and rudimentary tools. This softness and general feel to the rock is where the name soapstone comes from. Soapstone is found almost everywhere around the globe, being used many early cultures including Native Americans, Chinese, Egyptians and even the Vikings. All these cultures were able to use whatever items they had to hand to work the stone into the shape or form they desired. It does bring up the question of, other than some decorative stone carvings, why would somebody want to use something that was so soft? What would they practically use such a rock for? Here we come to some of the unusual properties of the rock linked to two of the major constituents of the rock, magnesium and silica. As mentioned earlier, the rock is fairly light, so objects made from it are fairly easy to move from place to place. Many early cultures could take objects with them when they moved. However, soapstone is also rather resistant to heat. It has a very high melting point compared to other metals and the fires used by early civilizations. Soapstone is also a good insulator since it has a very high specific heat capacity. Otherwise, it takes a lot of energy to heat up soapstone. It's also non-porous, so water or other liquids placed inside soapstone container stay there. This means that hot items could be placed inside a soapstone container. They wouldn't burn the hands of someone holding the outside of the soapstone, or even they wouldn't leak out. It meant that soapstone could be used as bowls or liners for hearths, or even made into smoking pipes. However, the early Vikings discovered that if you carve out soapstone, you can use it as a mould for metal objects, especially things like blades and spearheads. The softness of the stone allowed a wide variety of detailed moulds to be created, and the surface of the soapstone allowed the metal object easily to just slip out of the mould once it was cooled. This enabled the Scandinavian people to be some of the earliest adopters of metal tools and weapons. The modern uses for soapstone reflect earlier uses that are used for kitchen countertops, sinks and even stoves. The surface can mark and scratch easier than some other surfaces. However, soapstone can also be used in marking pencils, either in dressmaking or in welding, where even after heat has been applied to an area, the mark is still left by the soapstone is still visible. People are still coming up with new uses for soapstone. One of the more recent innovations is to use them as a kind of form of reusable ice cube. Piss soapstone objects will still be with us for quite some time to come.